Hello all. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a wall mounting unit. It's like uh, you utilize it in the drawing halls. Okay, it's for beginners and also for the advanced level. So let's go with it. So let's go into rendering view image file and this is a small tutorial. So let's go into that uh, your TV unit over here. That's your kind of a unit over here so if I have such stuff which I need to uh, model it let's go with it so very first of all let's take a plane over here you can take it on a top view also not a problem let's go on to this front view over here and let's just take a big wall over here after you are done with this let's just push it back over here now what I'll be doing over here is like let's take again a box over here so let's take a box over here so after taking a box over here what I'll be doing is I'll be just pushing it back over here like this till here go over here let's take one more box over here at the base till here and just push that out scale it and drag it inside till here after that is done just convert to editable poly and uh, let's go into this select this and let's give some two connects over here and just click OK so let's select this polygons and let's give a bit of inset by polygon over here you can give a bit of inset and just click OK that's it so now after that uh, we'll be definitely uh, working on this. We'll just push it up afterwards. Again, take a line over here. Let's take a line over here. Let's take a line and just drag it till here. After doing this, let's go into this, enable in viewport, and make it rectangular and increase its size and increase its width and just drag it and go to the top view over here just drag it and set it in this way so uh, over here just push this till here once you're done make sure you are uh, adjusting it perfectly down and convert to editable poly select the vertices just drag it out a bit go on to this view select this edges over here and just connect it give two connects let's go into the vertices R and scale it so make sure you are scaling it perfectly and just drag this till here after that is done let's select the polygons over here and let's just extrude it down just drag it down till here same way uh, select this stuff again give two connects over here so select this both scale it drag it over here 
push this a bit up. So select the polygons again. And again extrude it down. And click OK. So select the vertices and scale it from the top. Let's select this polygon. Let's select this polygon from this view. And let's give bridge better. So you can easily bridge this stuff in this way. So let's go over here. Let's select this vertices and just push this up. All right, so we can just save it once. So there's an effect of work over here. Now the next thing over here we are going to do is like, uh, let's scale this uh, unit over here. Let's go on scaling it. Make sure it is just coinciding through this. Convert to poly select the vertices just drag it till here and select this and just push this up so convert to poly push this up now over here what we are going to do is like we will again going to take a line over here let's take a line just drag it in this way and drag till here. That's it. So once you're done with it, let's reduce this. And if you want, you can increase its width of it. Select the vertices and just drag it down select this and just push it back behind this that's it so definitely we can just put one stuff over here and we can just texture it not a problem after that if you see that over here uh, again go over here and let's take a box over here. Let's take a box over here. Scale it. And just drag it till here. So you can go into this view again. And let's just duplicate it. Here. scale it or just give a color to it so once you are done over here we will be just taking one small box over here with a and we will be just placing it over here and scale it so that it would be a texture over here which I am going to assign. Save your file. Now the things which are just left out will be just lifting it up for this support over here. Select this Deselect this and just push this up So we need a support over here So let's take a 
line over here and let's just take a support of it so you can just convert to editable poly select the vertices and just rotate it so let's go to the top view over here and just drag this down just duplicate it select this both and mirror it copy this and just put it over here so let's go into this view and you can see what you have done now just give a color to it so let's make this uh, screen over here that's a LCD LED so let's take a box over here let's take a box over here so after taking a box over here you can just drag it over here convert to editable poly select this polygons let's use a bit of inset over here and let's use a bit of bevel over here and click ok so once you have just assigned this properties you can just push this more inside over here in this way so convert to editable poly again and uh, let's assign one loop at the top and one loop over here so after that that would be a part of your texture over here which will be assigning over here All right. so save your file again over here so now for the handles what we'll be doing is like let's take a line tool over here let's take a small line tool over here let's take a line tool so select this reduce its length and width scale it up push it up and uh, you can increase its length a bit select the vertices and you also have an option that is called fillet just give fillet to it that's it scale a bit more so go into this front view over here so so duplicate it over here and make one more duplicate of it that's it all right so save your file again over here we also need to create one small knob over here so for that let's take a spear over here convert to editable poly select this delete this select the border over here scale it shift and drag it and right click and cap it so once it is done over here so 
so just drag this I'm sorry just drag this over here in this way now for this uh, books over here that can be just uh, created with a box only let's go on to the top view So let's just create this so you can just push this up over here in this way you can just duplicate this so we can also show some books lying in this way that's it so that kind of stuff can be done over here so just drag this down and just mirror it in the x axis just drag it down in this way that's it all right so that's it what we are done with it so just select this all and give a color save your file So thanks for watching this tutorial. 